What is up my rollers? This is the Andrew Productions here back for another video and today we're going to do a commentary based topic which has been recently discussed as of uh, pre the previous weeks. It's been a while since I did uh, this kind of videos but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it either way since it relates to my content. So Bethesda has dropped a re-release of the old trilogy which you guys have heard so much and I don't even have to say it's right in front of you. Yep, that's right. During the DoomCon event, they decided to drop it behind our backs out of nowhere with the one and only Myth and Legend, the original Doom trilogy. Well, how do I feel about it? I haven't played it. its re-release, though I do attend on trying out on my iPhone since it doesn't get any love on the iOS besides Android being an open source platform. Otherwise, I have some critical claims to it still. To cut to the chase, it's overall bad. Why I say this is because of this. And this. So there's this scene floating around that if it ain't broke, it don't fix it. By the looks of it, people were not pleased by this result. It caused a lot of hassle to the point that Bethesda decided to shut down the Xbox Live version of Doom on the 360 and Doom Classic Complete on the PS3, surprisingly. Like, seriously, on a 26 year old game, Bethesda owns the rights to wound up treating Doom as an inequitable version of it. If Doom gets the Duke Nukem 3D re-release treatment, which I hope not, and rather not go in that phase like what Gearbox did with its Duke, Duke Nukem licensing, but that's like you're gonna catch his hands and sell the Doom community as well. The re-release port of Doom is inferior to the others. The lighting according to the original founders video, they seem less visible. The 9 inch nails logo is missing in episode 4. The game runs at 35 FPS, with one aspect ratio and a resolution you're stuck with. Doom 2 is not rest for living was replaced by the master levels which nerfs, nerf software didn't even care about that episode no more for some odd reason. And of course the lack of online multiplayer which is a main component to the franchise like come on it's 2019. Really nobody plays locally nowadays. The game doesn't even run on the ID Tech 1 engine for god's sake. Not only that the music is slower than the other ports. don't fix it. If you're going to buy this product especially on console I do not recommend it just homebrew it or just get it for PC because Doom is ported to almost everything you can imagine and those versions they play at, they play at its proper vanilla form as it should be. It's a phenomenon at this point. In fact you know what I'm gonna show you how to set up Doom the right way. So first download GCDOM and watch some over at the CDOM forum. Link in the description by place files wherever you want it to be. Then go into the WatchMush folder or WatchMush file. Get all the water files Doom 1, 2, Final Doom, Master Level, No Rest for Living, uh, or the Nerfs Out Watch. And if you want to play Sigil, then feel free to put it in there as well. Then place it into the Source Watch folder in the WatchMush file. After that, click on the WatchMush.exe, press Y, then enter on the exe. Let it compile all the watts until it says it's done. Then enter on the command prompt. Finally, drag the pk3 file called doom doom underscore complete pk3 to the gzoom folder or file where you saved it or place it as. And of course, make sure that the doom2 wad is in the gzoom folder or file in order to run this. Drag the doom underscore complete pk3 file into the gzoom launcher and voila, you got yourself a release of doom at its full glory. Thank me later. After the aftermath on this issue, Bethesda came on Twitter regarding to the problem by fixing it. But it was a little bit suspicious, not that I can't go around assuming stuff either, but they could be intended. Back on the Bethesda.net account, it was meant to be optional, but on the digital storefront page it says that it was required to play with an account, meaning that the game requires you to play on the internet. Despite on the two Doom games that were rushed to hype its fans for a quick cash grab, Doom 3 on the other hand, from what I can see, the port looks perfectly fine. It, it comes with FOB on console which is weird but cool. Only thing is that it has no online multiplayer or the ability to add subtitles and that's that. By the time the video is up, they probably fixed it. I hope Bethesda learns from this mistake therefore they should be aware of next time. Oh, perhaps I 
I need to mention the Doom 64 speculation. It was supposed to be released for it as well, but turns out it didn't release along with the other Doom games that should have been released a long time ago. I signed with its rating and the platform releasing on PS4 and PC. Probably a mistake could be ported to other consoles in the future if it's actually released, which I wouldn't mind as long as it's in its proper engine and it's tweaked and to have online multiplayer components as well without its redundant DRM requirements like they did with Doom 1 and 2. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and like on this video and I hope you guys as well let me know about DoomCon and how it went for those of you who did go, which I sadly couldn't attend but next time when I get the money I totally will go, I promise you that. And of course, I can't wait for Doom Eternal to come out. Andrew Productions signing off.